Hi everybody, it's Rebecca with Frenzy Farm Fitness. I put out weekly workout and stretching videos. This sway and stretch session is focusing on neck tension, shoulders, upper back, all those areas where we hold a lot of pain and it'll feel really good to release it. It's appropriate for just about any level. I am in my third trimester of pregnancy, so I will have lots of modifications for myself. Just listen to your body, make sure you change anything so it works for you. If the stretch doesn't feel good, please do not do it. Remember to be kind to yourself. We all come at this from different abilities, different levels, different backgrounds. Just do what you can and focus on you and remember to have some fun. Now, when I filmed the intro to this video, somehow I managed to delete it. So that's why I'm not in the stretching attire yet. We're gonna head right over there in just a second. Um, you can do this from a seated position on the floor. Make sure you have something comfortable to sit on. You could be on a chair, you could be on a bed. There is a point at the end where I'm on all four, so you wanna make sure you've got a comfortable place to do that. And let's have some fun. We'll see you at the end. Bye. So to begin, you can be on your knees, sitting on a chair, sitting cross-legged, crisscross applesauce if that works for you, or you could be standing. So whatever position makes you comfortable for right now, we're just going to try to warm up our bodies. You're going to sit in a comfortable seated position. It can be in a chair, on a couch, it can be on the floor, on a yoga mat. Just make sure you have something comfortable for you. And we're gonna heat up our middles a little bit before we get started. Find your sits bones and just kinda wiggle around and make sure they're there. And just as you kind of sit here, you can be still, you can kind of wiggle a bit. We call this sway and stretch because you're experimenting with your body. It might feel good to move around. Um, it might be, like, feel better to be still, but give yourself the freedom to do whatever. And don't worry about what it looks like. This is about feeling good, right? So we're finding those sits bones and we're breathing. <sighs> Trying to fill our lungs down into our bellies. And notice where your tension is right now. Send a little oxygen there. And we'll begin with some shoulder work. So we're going to roll those shoulders back. And you can do both at the same time if it feels better or you want to experiment with doing one at a time than the other. But try to get full circles going. We're not raising them too high, but we're really dropping those shoulder blades down and back, trying to open the chest. And our collarbones are loose, trying to relax our muscles. Watch out for any clenching, you're just trying to let it go. So just opening up the chest. We're gonna do a few chest circles, so make sure you have a stable base. Your hands go wherever suits you and support you. But you're just going to kind of draw with your middle some little swoopy circles. Depending on what feels good for you, you can keep these very small in range or you can really swoop down and around far. And once we've gone one way for a little bit, make sure you pause gently and go in the other direction. Not trying to push for a big range here, just going for comfort. Next time you're at the top, we'll pause right there and we'll find our spine again, get it nice and stacked. We're gonna do a seated cat and cow. So, Showing you sideways, you're going to lift your chest and you're going to just arch your back just the slightest little bit, no pressure here. Big breath and you're gonna exhale it and you're gonna round the spine like there's a little hook pulling in the middle of your back, trying to round it to the back of the room. And you're just gonna flow through this. So just inhaling and lifting, not lifting the ribs too high, keep them a little tucked. And if you're like me, my range is pretty small. Just go for comfort. Make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. And when you're ready, you'll come back to a neutral spine and shake it out. Stay right where you are. Shoulder rolls back one and then the other, or you can do both. Pretty much everything I say is a suggestion. So experiment with what feels good for you. Might feel good to do both and just really focus on opening the chest. Might feel good to loosen your trunk by doing one at a time. 
Breathe and experiment. All right, let's get into those shoulders now that we're a little more warmed up. So we're gonna bring our palms out to the side. Inhale, nice and tall, long spine. You're just gonna swoop and round those shoulders only and bring your hands together and give a little bit of a pull, almost like something's pulling your fingertips. Now keep your shoulders low as you do this. And then you're gonna sweep back and open and lift the chest, gazing up just a little bit. Relax the jaw and just breathe through this a few times. If it doesn't feel good for you to bring your arms together, just kind of reach out in front. If you need a little bit more, you can go a bigger range or you can interlace those fingers, maybe returning and pushing. Now keep going while I show the sideways view of it here. And the next time that your arms are back, go ahead and keep them back and just roll those shoulders down and away right here a couple times. Good, and relaxing, shaking it out. It's always good to shake it out for me. Anytime you gotta wiggle it out, you go for it. Next. So we're gonna put one hand on the small of our back, so behind us here. We're gonna try to get some tension release through the side of the neck and down the back of the shoulder. So I'm going to have my spine nice and long, sits bones underneath me. And I'm going to exhale and I'm just going to tip my ear over like an imaginary fist right here. Real fist or like an apple we'll say. Other hand's going to place gently on your head and just give a little stretch. You're not pulling on this. This is just a little bit of guidance. Now here you can breathe. And if it feels good, you can experiment with movement. We're trying to let go of the tension and trying to wiggle through. Less wiggly here, more experimenting with what feels good. So I'm kind of tracing little circles with my nose. And for you, again, that may not feel good. You might just want to relax here, no hand or with a hand. Just a few more breaths. <sighs> Trying to keep the opposite shoulder low. <sighs> good job, everybody. Keep breathing. We're gonna take a little break from it, so gently you'll release your head and stack that head back up. Bring the arm out and just give it a wiggle. We're gonna go back into the same side, changing the stretch to target a different muscle. So hand behind your back. If it doesn't feel good there, you can have it just resting out to the side. But shoulders low and relaxed, tipping over. This time, you're going to turn your nose down like you're sniffing your armpit, a little armpit check here. And now you're gonna add a little bit of pressure, only if it feels good. And you can stay nice and still breathing into this and trying to stretch that muscle down. If it feels good, you can experiment again with just little adjustments. Mm. I got a really tight spot here. We're not trying to force anything. We're not trying to power through. We're just kind of inviting a little bit of release and you're modifying it for you, right? If you find a really tense spot, stay there and breathe. A couple more breaths here. And when you're ready, you're gonna bring your gaze forward again. Release your head gently, stack it back up, and release the other arm, and just see how it feels. Maybe get a little massage. Hopefully you got a little bit of a release there. Before we switch to the other side, we're going to take it down the back of our shoulder into our lats a little bit. So thinking about keeping your shoulder low, I'm gonna reach one arm up and I'm going to use the other hand to support me however I need to. And we're going to tip over just enough to feel a little bit of release here. Trying to keep my shoulder away from my ear. If you'd like, you can keep both arms, either hands together, palms down, palms up, but find the stretch. Your sits bones should not be popping up, okay? So breathe here. If it feels good to hold, you hold. If it feels better to come down. So, so many options, but the target is kind of the side, the swooping muscle down the back and the side. So you're not going for the farthest reach you can. 
So either flowing in and out of it or holding for a couple more breaths. Make sure your shoulders are square in front of you rather than dropping that shoulder. So everything's stacked. And maybe this is a bit much for your trunk, so you've got to keep one arm down. One more breath here. You can also do it without reaching up if it feels better. And when you come back in, shake and wiggle it out. See how that side feels. Hopefully we can get the same release on the opposite side, okay? So, moving on. Hand to the small of the back, palms facing out. Tipping over gently, keeping shoulders low on both sides, some space right here, giving a gentle little press, only if it feels good for you. <sighs> Breathing, and if it feels good, start experimenting with a little motion and movement. It's kind of the sway idea of sway and stretch. So how does swaying your body work best for you? What little movements or modifications make you feel it more? Just caught myself with my shoulder wanting to creep up, up, up. A couple breaths. When you're ready, you'll gently release your head, bring it back up. Release the arm, little shake out, little wiggle. We're gonna go back into that one more time. Reach over. Tip the nose down, armpit check, and gentle pressure here. Once again, experimenting. Does it feel good to do little micro movements or to be still here, but keep breathing no matter what? You might find a real tender spot that you want to give a little love. Found my spot, there we are. A couple more breaths right here. Checking in with your body, trying to release any tight muscles right here. They're clenching up. And go ahead and release that gently and bring it back up to center and shake it out. Little self massage here, little check in. Last seated thing, if you haven't already repositioned your legs, feel free at any time to kind of adjust where your feet are. Check in on those sits bones. So stretching down the side of our body, kind of the back of the shoulder and down. You can have one hand right here, reaching up and over. I'm really tight on this side, so I'm gonna be flowing it, but you find what works for you. And I'm just now catching myself, starting to really lean away. So I have to remember to keep my sits bones kind of planted. And it's more about trying to create some space. Reach however works for you. And it's not so much about extending those arms so big. It could be just a little reach or lifting the ribs. A couple more times, modifying it for you, okay? And back to the center. Whoo, such a tight spot for me there. Shake it out. We're going to transition now to hands and knees. So make sure you have a cozy spot on the floor. Maybe you want a blanket rolled up for your knees. All fours. Starting with hands under shoulders and knees under hips. Maybe a little wider if you're trying to make room for baby here. And you're just gonna wag your puppy dog tail. Wiggle it out a little bit. So actively pushing through your palms. I'm going to go into cat cow. So I'm gonna pull in my belly button as much as I can really. Tuck the chin around the spine. And while I'm up here in my cat position, I might give my tail a little wag up here, see how it feels. Maybe do some figure eights or some little circles. And a couple more breaths in this cat position, really thinking about the middle of your spine, trying to round and release. Trying to separate those shoulder blades. Beautiful. 
and fall. And come back to a neutral spine for a second, a little wiggle wiggle. We're gonna do just a little baby cow here. I already got a lot of belly sticking out and I don't wanna hyperextend my back, which means overarching. None of us want that. So you're just gonna drop the belly a little bit, just looking up a tad wee bit. Try to keep length through the spine. If it doesn't feel good, stay at a neutral spine now. One more breath. And back to the neutral spine. We're gonna thread the needle now, which is great for the shoulder blades. So you're going to bring one elbow down and your hips are gonna stay up. You can bring your knees wider as you need to. Palm up and you're gonna lace it through. And I'm going to rest my head right on its side and just breathe. Breathe into the back. If it doesn't feel good to have your other hand out front here, you could bring it back here and give a little push. It might even feel good, get my hair out of the way here, to stick, to put your hand down and try to roll that top shoulder blade back and just kind of create a more openness. Listen to your body, modifies the need to one more breath. <sighs> Try to draw your belly button in or hug your baby and you're going to gently press back out and we're wiggling it out at all fours. Before we go into the other side, we're just going to do some big hip circles, really trying to set back and then lift that spine. And the other way just a couple times. We're getting ready to thread the needle the other way. So I'm gonna flip around so I'm still facing you. And we're going to come down onto an elbow. Make sure it's the opposite arm that's doing the work this time. Threading it through. Bring your elbows wider as you need to. Rest your head down. And you modify where the extended hand is. It can stay put. It can push right here. Get the hair out of your face. And breathe. If you find you're putting a lot of pressure and tension to this top arm, see if you can let it relax a little bit more. Draw your shoulder blade back. <sighs> More breaths right here. Some good release going on. <sighs> and drawing that belly button in again, very gently. Going to use that top hand to help press yourself out. We are on all fours. We're going to do a bit of a happy puppy stretch. So elbows both are coming down. So your hips are up, tailbones up, elbows down. And you're going to focus on your shoulder blades, your mid back, your upper back. And I want you to just, and you can adjust your knees as you need to. I gotta make way for baby room, but I'm going to push my elbows into the mat. I'm gonna feel some stretch kind of at the base of my shoulder blades. And if it feels good to sway through it, you can go forward and back. Like a happy puppy ready to play. into child's pose now so we're going to take our arms further out and we're going to sit our hips further back and try to rest our head right down on the mat if it doesn't reach stack a fist one or two think about relaxing the spine you're not trying to reach super far with those fingertips just relax the arms and we'll get into the side of our shoulder and our back by walking our feet, or our, our fingers, hands, not, not feet, over to one side and just breathe. <sighs> and 
and we're going to travel on over the other side, coming back to the center and back on over. And when you're ready, you'll bring it back to the center. Regular child's pose, one more breath. <sighs> and placing those hands under the shoulders, we're gonna press up to all fours and just kind of collect ourselves. And we're gonna come to a comfortable seated position. Oh, goodness. It's getting me sleepy. We're just gonna do a body check here just to see how everything feels. So just kind of wiggle it out. Oh, feels nice. We're gonna go to a forward fold to try to release the mid and low back and that's where we'll finish. So you're going to bring one leg up, other leg out. If you are seated, oh, let me back up so you can see me. If you're seated on a chair, you can just keep your feet flat on the ground, okay? Uh, I don't have a lot of room to forward fold, so I'm just going as far as I can feel it, and you modify it for you, okay? So legs are fairly wide. We're not going for distance, it's just to get the release. So we're gonna inhale, our spine's nice and long. You're gonna exhale, and you're gonna hinge forward. If you're on the ground, you can walk it out. You can grab your legs. You could just rest your hands on your thighs if you're seated in a chair. Basically, just go far enough so you feel some tension release. And here, you can breathe and stay put, or you can sway around and experiment. If you're in a chair, you might get to get quite a bit of depth. Go for what feels best. This is less about your legs and more about your spine. Wherever you've traveled to, you're gonna support yourself back up. So hands go wherever suits you to help bring you back up. And if your legs were wide with me, you're just gonna sit, sit comfortably. Very good. Just a few mini cat cows while you're seated here, just to kind of check in, see how things are feeling. Let's finish up with our hands in front. You can either keep them like so, or you can actually go around. Let's see, let me show you sideways. So I can actually bring my elbow one on top of the other, and I'm going to kind of wrap around right here and get a little pretzely. And I'm just going to inhale and exhale and try to drop my shoulder blades low, and you're gonna feel quite a stretch right in the back, in the back of your shoulder blades. If that doesn't feel good to you, you don't have to pretzel up. You can just have your hands together and think about depressing or dropping your shoulder blades. <sighs> Breathe away the tension. <sighs> it's good. Gently release that, nice and careful, and shake it out. Ooh. And we're gonna go to the other side when you're ready, okay? So make sure the other elbow's on top now. And you're doing a little wrap. So again, if wrapping up doesn't feel good for you, you could just bring your hands together. You could even clasp them. Think about dropping everything down. So we don't want to tighten those shoulders and have them pop up. We want to let everything drop. This side's tighter for me. One more nice big breath. <sighs> Go ahead and release that out. Sit comfortably. This last little bit is for you to throw in any remaining stretch, something that felt good we already did, or something that you just feel like you want to do now. So your rules, your body, do what feels best for you. Whew. 
Beautiful work, everybody. Thank you so much for taking the time to stretch and feel good with me. I will be putting out more workouts weekly, coming out Fridays or Saturdays. Have a wonderful rest of your week, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.